Did you know that only 23% of adults in the United States get enough exercise? In this video, I'll share the five simple yet effective daily habits that help me stay in shape so you can be part of that 23% too. I'm Lewis, I've been a personal trainer for nearly 10 years, working with over 1,000 plus clients. For my online coaching, I ensure CEOs and entrepreneurs grow their business by optimizing health and performance without the time sacrifices, restrictive diet, or missing out on precious family. On YouTube, I help you understand the key fundamentals to do it all by yours. Health and fitness are not just about looking good or aesthetics, they are crucial for overall well-being, as most of us know. In this fast-paced world, it's easy to neglect our health, but by making small, consistent changes each and every day, we can achieve significant improvements in our physical health and being able to stay in shape. Whether it's training regularly, eating a balanced diet, or getting enough sleep, prioritizing our health can lead to a happier and more fulfilling life. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly what I do to stay in shape every day, every week, month, and year. I once had a client back in 2017 who was a dedicated professional with a demanding job and a bit of a passion for life in general. Despite his commitment to success, he found himself struggling to stay in good shape. So he was battling a little bit of inconsistency, poor dietary choices, and a lack of quality sleep. Something we have all heard before. His health was on a downward spiral to say the least and the desire for a change burned within him a little bit but he wasn't able to actually stay consistent. So he was frustrated with the constant uphill battle. He decided it was time to take control. He reached out to me, his personal health and performance coach, seeking guidance on breaking free from the shackles of the inconsistency and put a plan in so together we crafted a personalized plan that incorporated five daily habits designed to revolutionize his approach to fitness so that he could stay consistent and ultimately get in shape but stay in shape. His inconsistency was rooted in a bit of a chaotic routine to say the least. His workouts were sporadic and his diet lacked the necessary nutrients. Late nights at the office and social events led to irregular sleep patterns, leaving him fatigued and unable to perform at his best. Recognizing that his past attempts to stay in shape had faltered due to a lack of daily habits, I aimed to guide him towards a more sustainable lifestyle. We shifted away from quick fixes and embraced the philosophy of building a foundation for lasting health first, which was sustainable. Consequences of his previous lifestyle were pretty obvious to me, so it was decreased energy levels, weight gain, and a sense of dissatisfaction. His physical and mental well being suffered, affecting not only his personal life, also his professional endeavors as well. So, together, we committed to the daily habits outlined in his personalized plan. We prioritized consistent but short, effective workouts incorporating a blend of strength training and a bit of cardio work as well. We revamped his diet, choosing more nutrient-dense foods and staying hydrated throughout the day. Again, making it something which fit around his lifestyle wasn't too extreme or restrictive. We also recognized the importance of quality sleep. He established a bedtime routine to improve his rest and we tracked his sleep as well using fitness tracker. As the weeks progressed, his transformation was great to say the least. His energy levels soared, the daily habits became an integral part of his life, leading to sustainable results and not something which he was like coming in and out of all the time. He not only regained control of his fitness, also inspired those around him with his newfound discipline and he was able to get in shape. And that is the power of daily habits in achieving long-term health and fitness goals and as the title of this video, getting in shape. Ultimately, you don't want to get in shape. You want to stay in shape for the long term. So let's go over five essential tips I do every day to stay in shape. So number one is prioritize sleep. Inadequate sleep can lead to weight gain, decreased energy, and poor concentration. This can impact your ability to exercise effectively and make healthy food choices. So me personally, I ensure that I go to bed at 9 p.m. each night and try to be asleep for absolute latest 10 p.m. I often wake up at somewhere around 5.45 a.m. It can be early, it can be later, depending on the days, depending on what clients I'm working with. That way I'm getting at least eight hours sleep every night, if not seven some nights. But personally, I can function fine on seven. I've only been strict about my sleep for over the past maybe two to three years, but it has had such a massive impact on my day-to-day -day energy levels and performance. As soon as you prioritize your sleep, 
it really does make that much of a difference. Number two, the second daily habit is I have some go-to meal plans. So poor meal planning can result in unhealthy food choices and overeating, we've all done it. This can also lead to consuming excess calories, hence the weight gain and inadequate nutrition. For example, for breakfast every day, I have the same protein notes. It's quick, easy and tasty. I'm also making sure I get my protein, carbs and fats from the peanut butter I put in, those oats every day, obviously the protein powder I put in and then the oats for the carbs. This also means that I don't have to think about what I'm going to eat, which could then lead to eating food that I don't enjoy or are a lot higher in calories. So the tip is to prepare a few staple meals in advance to ensure you have healthy options readily available, reducing the likelihood making poor food choices. Third daily habit is to plan and prepare for times going off plan. Unexpected events or cravings can lead to deviating from your fitness plan. And obviously this can then derail your progress and lead to feelings of guilt or a little bit of frustration. So what do I do? Especially if I knew my partner and I are going out to eat at a restaurant, for example, on a weekend, I lower my calories the day of and potentially the day prior as well, especially if I know it's going to be a heavy one. This means that I'm always within my calorie range for the week and not spinning over too much, which could put me into a calorie surplus, leading to unnecessary weight gain when it could be avoided. So anticipate potential challenges and have a strategy in place, such as keeping healthy snacks or maybe just planning alternate activities to stay on track. Ultimately, you want to plan ahead. This saves so much time and you aren't left to spilling over on your calories. And number four is base diet on high satiety foods. A diet lacking in satiating foods can lead to overeating and constant hunger. This can again lead to consuming excess calories and feeling unsatisfied. High satiety foods are beneficial for regulating appetite, preventing overeating and supporting weight management. These foods, which are typically high in protein and fiber, can help you feel full and satisfied for longer periods, reducing the likelihood again of snacking and unhealthy food throughout the day. Research has shown that a combination of fiber and protein can increase gastric vis. So increased protein and fiber will induce a sense of satiety for an extended period of time, aka making you feel fuller for longer making them an essential component of a healthy diet. Some examples of high satiety foods include fish, lean chicken, oats, fruits and vegetables, all of which can contribute to a long lasting feeling of fullness and support weight management and overall health. Incorporating high satiety foods into your diet can be a smart approach to weight management and overall health, helping you stay in shape. These will not only help hunger cravings and reduce cravings overall, but also provide essential nutrients and support for digestive health. For example, a 2017 study found that participants fed a high sugar protein shake ate more snacks later in the day than those fed a low sugar protein shake, highlighting the impact of food choices on satiety and appetite regulation. Although that doesn't mean that you should avoid sugar altogether, as long as your calories are equal and equated for, your composition should be the same. But prioritizing high satiety foods, such as lean proteins, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, you can enhance the quality of your diet and promote a more satisfying and healthy relationship with food. Also, the satiety index, which measures the ability of foods to satisfy hunger, can help you identify and incorporate high satiety foods into your meals, ultimately supporting your weight management and again, overall well -being. Number five, training to gain muscle. Get neglecting strength training can lead to muscle loss and decrease in metabolism as well. This can make it harder to maintain a healthy weight and may lead to decreased physical strength. When I was a kid, football was always my chosen sport. Up until the age of 16, when I started the gym, I'm now 27, and hypertrophy is still my main priority. Apart from a few years ago when I did the Ironman Triathlon, then the Edinburgh Marathon, which obviously my goal diverted a little bit into more endurance. Ultimately, if you want to look good or great, you have to train at a minimum three times per week with a well-structured plan. Obviously, incorporating other forms of exercise if you enjoy it, strength training is imperative. I personally train four to five times per week in the gym, aka strength training, focusing on hypertrophy, two to three cardio sessions per week as well to ensure that I'm getting the endurance sessions in and working on fat side. Bonus tip to stay in shape is to commit to a daily routine. Creating a plan that fits naturally into your daily life can help you form long lasting exercise habits. Whether that be scheduling a morning workout, taking a daily walk or setting aside time for a home workout, 
consistency, as we all have heard before, is key to maintaining your fitness routine and achieving your health and wellness goals. I think this is one of the main areas which I have nailed over the years. Going back to what I said about the nutrition, I eat similar foods most days. I know exactly what days I'm going to train. I know exactly what I'm doing on the, in those training sessions. I've set my habits up so that for the most part, things are pretty similar. With all of my CEO or entrepreneur clients, I follow my CEO health and performance blueprint five step system, which combines all five key areas. Head to the link in the description to watch the short video of exactly how I use this with my clients to get amazing results. Or alternatively, you can take the CEO health and performance assessment scorecard completely free, which will analyze your current weaker areas and stronger areas and where you can improve.